Legend tells us that many rituals and ceremonies would have been performed around these ancient monuments. The celebration of special times of the year, like the changing of the seasons and the phases of the moon and fertility rites, all formed a natural part of the religious worship of our pagan ancestors. One wonders whether these ancient rites are still performed today, but may not have the same association as in past times. An ancient custom takes place every year at Easter time in the small village of Thaxted. Could these dancers be performing an ancient fertility ritual? Mike Smith, himself a Morris dancer, explained. Well, in essence, yes, they, they are performing a fertility dance that has its origins going back into the nether regions of history. What we have to do is to look into the basic structure of uh, how the villages were set up. And in Essex particularly, there would have been a lot of uh, farming communities. And these communities would be looking towards getting the most out of their crops. And so they would have various superstitions, which they uh, would want to uh, appease whatever gods they assigned to them. Communities would come together at various times through the year, particularly at the springtime, um, where these dancers would perform specific dances to appease the gods and to bring forth fertility to the crops and to the village itself. Because if the crops failed for that year, then obviously the village was going to be that much poorer. The tradition of wearing costumes really comes from having an identity for the village or the region in which the particular people come from. The colours would have a, a particular significance to the village. On the whole, um, Morris dancers would wear predominantly white, white being the symbol of purity and virginal, uh, it's a virginal colour. Going deeper into history, the, uh, what we call the tatter jacket, which would be a, a jacket which would have bits of material sewn onto it, or bits of paper, or bits of leaves even, that would be almost symbolic of the, the nature aspect and bringing back into focus the figure of the green man uh, which runs throughout this land. So that, that would fit in very well as well as um, perhaps having a tatter hat as well. A lot of sides these days uh, wear different kinds of hats from straw hats to bowler hats whichever seems to be uh, prevalent in the particular region that they come from. It's said today amongst a lot of Morris men that if any woman picks up a Morris dancer's hat and puts it on, that within a year she'll be pregnant and give birth. And this really compounds the superstition of uh, fertility coming from the dances and the dancers because that is in essence what they're trying to bring forth.